Hi, this is James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we are going to be showing you how to install a ring alarm system sensor on a door. So this is a sliding door that we've got here. We've got the old sensor right here. We just removed the screws for that old sensor and what we are going to be installing today is this right here. So this is a ring window and door sensor. It can go on any window or door in your home and connect with the ring alarm system. Um, these things are great. I love the ring alarm system. It's one of the uh, best alarm systems out there on the market if you wanna DIY it yourself. And it is powered by the same technology that the majority of those very expensive alarm systems that you have to pay 50, 60, $70 a month for are powered by, except the ring is better and you don't have to pay a monthly fee if you don't want to, but if you do pay that monthly fee, it's only $10 a month, and that in, uh, includes unlimited recording for your uh, smart home uh, cameras and doorbells as well. So here's what we've got. We've got the sensor here. Um, this is part of this, and then you've got uh, a whole bunch of other parts in here. So how these stick up is actually really simple. You could install them with screws. I don't recommend doing that just because uh, the adhesive works fine. These are light enough that you can just use the adhesive that comes inside the kit and actually works pretty great. So let's get out the other pieces here. All right, so how this works is you've got two pieces like this, okay? And when the door opens or closes, these two separate and then it tells you if the ring alarm system is activated. Now, these are completely battery powered. So there's just a battery in here. This is uh, a battery that'll last, you know, anywhere between one to three years, depending on the usage, climate, and internet connection, strength of signal, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I have had these installed for probably about six, seven months and I have not had any issues. So. Uh, I don't anticipate that uh, you would probably have any of those issues either. So uh, they have a little bracket on here, just like this, the Magneto one. And you just snap that on first. So go ahead and snap that on. And then you have got your adhesive right here. Okay, this adhesive will go on the back of this and this larger adhesive will go on the back of this one here. And we've got another plastic plate. These have screw holes in them. I don't know if you can see those screw holes there. That's if you wanna screw them into the frame and you don't wanna just use the peel and stick adhesive. I find that the peel and stick adhesive works great, so no reason to make it harder than it needs to be. So I'm just gonna snap this in. Okay, actually we need to wait until we add this one to our account before we snap that other piece in. So I'm just gonna remove the old sensor first here. Uh, you can just clip the wires. The new sensors are completely wireless. So if you've got uh, a pair of clippers that will work for you, just clip those wires. And then uh, I'm just going to tuck these back up in this hole. I don't need these anymore. So we'll just hide them. You can't see them anymore. Looks pretty good. If you've got uh, some place to hide those wires, highly recommend doing that. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna open up our app. You've gotta have the uh, security alarm system already installed. And we're just gonna add this sensor onto the system, which is gonna be super quick. Um, so I'm in the ring system here. And let's see. I'm going to click on, you can see all the different devices in here and I'm just gonna click on devices and I'm gonna add a device. So you'll go to a screen that eventually looks like this here and it says set up device and you go to security devices. This is a sensor, so it'll show you other things here. It'll show you the sensor. So we're just gonna click on the one that's a sensor and this is what they call a contact sensor, but you can see the other sensors, uh, the other options that they have there. Okay, walks you through the setup. It says, tap and scan the QR code. So we're gonna scan the code here. 
use this code. It's captured the code. That was easy enough. Okay, it says pull the tab on the back of the sensor. So we did that. Okay, we pulled the tab. It says adding a device. Uh, I mean, this is super simple, super quick, easy setup. Um, so very easy for this thing to be set up and added to the base station. I think overall installing the security system uh, took me like 20 or 30 minutes the very first time that I set it up. So pretty easy. Uh, it just says configuring device. It's adding it to the network. I heard it beep up there, the actual system upstairs. So we are now gonna add this other piece here. Okay. And okay, it says device added. Tap here to set it up. Okay, so I'm saying, what is this? It says main door. Okay, it gives you three options here. All right, main door, window, or secondary door. And the difference is the main door is it gives you time it delays the alarm from setting off when you enter because if you don't want the alarm to go off right away, it's your main door that you use to ingress and egress out of your home. Um, then you want to have that little bit of delay which will allow you to turn on and off the sensor before it goes off. So this one's gonna, we're gonna call this a secondary door because it uh, is not one that typically would use to go in and out of the house. So, all right, and where are you going to place this sensor? I am messing right now with the adhesive. It's hard if you don't have uh, nails really. So, okay, got the adhesive on there. Just lining it up. Okay, uh, boom. It says, where would you like to place it? We're just gonna call it the living room. And uh, gonna call it, it tells you what, what do you want to call it. Gives you an instructional tutorial there. I'm just gonna say skip, I've done this before. Walks you through what you need to do. It says, test your sensor. So we're gonna do that. And to test the sensor, all you do is put these two together. And then in the app, it will show you if it's open or closed. So I'm gonna move them away. And uh, you can see that it said door open at the top. And then now I'm gonna put these two back together like this. And it will eventually here show that they are together. Done. Success your ring device is configured. All right, so all we do is click done. And now that these are ready to go, all I'm gonna do is put the sensor up and the window and door sensor and I'm all set. So uh, what you wanna do is you typically wanna put this larger device on the door frame itself. So we're gonna make sure the door frame is completely closed. And then we're just gonna line this up. I'm gonna get it in a place where it's a nice, flat, clean surface. You should try and clean these uh, surfaces if possible. And we're gonna line this up just like this. And we're gonna leave about a quarter inch between the edge of the door frame and this sensor so that we don't knock it off, okay? And then you just hold that on for uh, like 30 seconds. So just count down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go to 30, but uh, you're just gonna hold this down until it goes, uh, it sticks there in place and it's pretty good. Um, if it's hot or cold outside, if it's hot, it's gonna stick pretty easily. If it's cold, you might wanna, if it's a window frame, warm it up a little bit with a, hair dryer. That's just gonna make it stick a little bit better. Okay, so now I've got this adhesive and this piece here, and I'm just going to adhere this to the back 
of the sensor here. And now all we need to do is there are two grooves on the side of this device. So I'll show you right here. There, I don't know if you can see that, if it'll focus maybe on that. Uh, but you can see, there you go. You can see the grooves there. You need to align those grooves with the actual sensor itself. So um, we're gonna make sure we have it in the proper orientation, we do. And we are just gonna stick this up. And you'd be surprised, these things are pretty forgiving in terms of how much space you can have between the window and the door sensor, uh, the smaller piece and the larger piece. So uh, they are pretty forgiving. It does let you uh, mount these probably about a half an inch apart and they will still be closed or open. So um, just hold it on for another 30 seconds, hold both of them down. It doesn't really hurt to hold them too long. And then your system is going to be set up. So let's see what we've got here. I'm going to look specifically at this door and we're going to look at history. Okay, so the door that we've got here, we've called it the side door. It's up there at the top, okay? And right now it says it is closed. So what I am going to do, and you might be able to hear the uh, sound upstairs when the alarm system opens. Okay, it is open. And now you can see, I don't know if you saw it here at the top, the sensor shows in the history status that it is open. Now I'm gonna close it again. And now it shows at the top, the next notification, this is really hard on the cell phone, that the sensor is closed. So we just opened it, it is 350 or 349, so it was closed. You can see the status here. We opened it and then it's closed. And now, you can open it again and it will show that it is open. So that is how you install a ring window and door sensor, a ring alarm sensor here. Uh, very simple. The biggest thing with these is just make sure you hold them for 30 to 60 seconds. Uh, the longer the better once you've installed them. And that's just really gonna make sure that that adhesive sticks well. And you wanna make sure that you do give it enough space so that you're not gonna knock it off the door. That's one of the most important things. So we shut the door all the way and give yourself maybe about a quarter inch and you're gonna be fine. Um, no problems there. So I'm actually just gonna test it here to see at what distance it is that we have to open it before it will actually say that it's opened. So. All right, so at about about a, that was about an inch that we opened it um, before it actually said that. Now let's see when it registers close. See, is it registered as closed? Okay, it's registered as closed. All right, there it's open. So that's maybe about an inch and a half. Let's see when it re registers as closed. I'm just gonna watch the app here. Okay, so it's registering as closed right now with that gap of about three quarters of an inch. So these things are pretty forgiving, um, which makes it a good way to install and makes it really reliable. So no one's gonna squeeze through your door if it's three quarters of an inch open. At three quarters of an inch, the frame was still closed. Um, but it is going to allow you, if you've got some different geometry up here, to mount these things a little bit better. If you have to mount them a little bit further apart, it will still work when it's open or closed. Make sure you clean the frame. That's always a great thing to make sure you get good adhesion. Um, like I said, I've had these installed for like six months and have had no issues with the adhesive. So I haven't found a, need, a reason or a need to use the screws you certainly could if you're one of those people that wants to do that but you don't have to all right thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe to this video and we will see you next time please visit us at onehoursmarthome.com